the item behind me is the HET1 computer, which was the first electronic computer that was used for uh, commercial purposes other than the Leo machine, uh, uh, which Joe Lyons had developed for earlier in the British, uh, in, in the UK, I should say. Um, Dr. Booth, who was a lecturer at Birkbeck College, needed calculating machines, computers for crystallographic calculations, and he um, was developing this machine in a barn at Fenny Compton, just north of Coventry, and he needed input and output uh, to feed the information in or to print it or, or record it on punch cards in the output. So he did a deal with British Tabulating Machine Company uh, that he'd swap the design of his early machine, which I'm leaning on, uh, for punch card machinery, which he would then have for Birkbeck College for input and output to, to his computers. So I was sent down there with the two other chaps to copy this machine in this <laughs> decrepit barn at, 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 in Fenny Compton, uh, which copied, I mean on paper, I don't mean physically, and record the circuits, record the layouts of the boards, and then take these drawings back to the British Tabulating Machine Company's works at Letsworth into the, their development uh, laboratories in Eld Road, Ignil Way. And this is what we uh, produce from those di diagrams. The great difference between a computer and a calculator is that it has a test function that you can use many times all over it. What is a test function? It means that you make the machine look at a particular digit in a register. If it's a 1, we will do something there. If it's a naught, we will do something there, quite different. So you can build up a tree of choices using this test function, which makes this machine, compared with a calculator, extremely intelligent. Compared with the human mind, of course, it's not intelligent, but it means that you can make all sorts of choices. Is he male or female? Did they go on holiday? Um, all sorts of questions that you want to answer. Uh, was he paid last month? Is he overdrawn? All these tests would be done by this sort of function. So take it to bank. Just those things I've been mentioning uh, would be built into an account testing program to decide whether to cash somebody's cheque or not, for instance.